This video is sponsored by Apple. I mean this one, because I would never buy an Apple product if I didn't have to. But hey, before I dive into my frustration, it's Project Nightfall. Let me welcome you. MacBook Pro. Hey, I've never needed an Apple product. Up until now, I happily stayed in my Windows, Android world, and from that perspective, all I knew is that Apple products are very expensive, but also very reliable. If you get a MacBook, you'll never get any freezes, they said. And you will experience a great customer support, they said. Macs are better and more stable than Windows. The stores which... And that's exactly what I thought, up until now. A few weeks ago, after joining NAS on the video-making adventure, Puerto Rico! I had to get a MacBook Pro. That is because he is using a MacBook to edit videos in an Apple-specific program. Why did you do this to me, man? Hey, man, you want to be part of the team or not? So I got the $3,500 MacBook thinking that I'm about to experience the fastest system on the earth! But I didn't. Instead, I literally got three freezes on my first day editing a video. It genuinely surprised me, so may the rant begin. Begin. $3,500 MacBook. It takes 10 seconds to load the Chrome browser, but only one second to load Safari. $3,500 MacBook requires me to buy additional parts so that I can plug my mouse to it, because there's no USB in Mac. Come on, I had to pay $70 for it. Everything is USB. And finally, $3,500 MacBook Pro compared to my $1,200 Windows laptop works slower and less efficient. Look at this, my old computer edits faster, it barely freezes, and I had it for over a year now. It has all I need and it never broke. And I hope my Mac better not break too, because when my friend Aline needed her keyboard fixed... They asked me for $500 to fix my spacebar. After making this video, I will probably never get a brand deal from them, but let me tell you, as someone who's been using Windows computers for most of my life, I need to stop and prevent the spread of the money-hungry disease and tell you, to not get a Mac unless, like me, you absolutely have to. In the times when money often dictates the quality of product, it is easy to blindly follow the trends. You assume that something is good because it's expensive. And that's why, until buying this MacBook, I was convinced that it is worth the price. With $40 cables, $130 keyboards, $160 headphones, $1,000 iPhones and three thousand five hundred dollars MacBooks, Of course, they have 900 billion dollars in the bank. There's a reason why Apple products are so tightly screwed. <laughs> the moment you open them, you realize that they will have the price. And that's why I will never buy an Apple product again.